Hello everyone, Jan Peter JJ here. Welcome to my channel. And um, today I'm going to bring you the unboxing of this MSI Z690 Unified X motherboard. So uh, I know you guys probably confused that there's two variants of this motherboard. There's the Unified and Unified X. And the X has two less dim spots um, compared to the Z690 Unified, uh, which has higher overclocking compatibility. Frankly speaking, this is my first MSI motherboard. I've heard a lot of good things about MSI motherboard in terms of overclocking and all kinds of things. And you have probably seen a lot of other YouTubers uh, in tech channels, they overclock with specifically MSI motherboard. Yep, uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so there are definitely a lot of accessories um, in the box, and uh, let's start with the motherboard first. So, uh, as you as I mentioned earlier, so the Unify X uh, is different from Unify with two less dim stuff. There's only two of them, with each of them supports 32 gigs uh, to a maximum of 64 gigs per DDR5 memory on this. And uh, uh, as you can see, that there are definitely the Unify lineup that has uh, zero RGB on it. So if you're actually building a uh, styles build, this is really a, a nice motherboard for that. And uh, let's start to take a look at the, uh, the features of this motherboard. So first of all, uh, you can see that there's actually five um, M.2 slots in this motherboard. So this is the first place for the M.2, this is the second one, third one, and there's two uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the last slots. And uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the, uh, uh, the connecting components of this motherboard. So uh, connectivity is wise, we have two uh, uh, USB 2.0, we have seven uh, USB 3.2, one type C, and uh, this is the, actually the PS2. Uh, it actually supports the N key rollover compared to the USB uh, keyboard feature, 
which uh, is kind of like a, a legacy support. And we have the uh, clear CMOS and BIOS uh, button right here, uh, definitely for overclocking. And uh, this is the uh, the Wi-Fi slash um, Bluetooth in this in this module and some uh, audio jack in here. So connectivity wise, uh, there's definitely plenty of them uh, in here. And uh, if we look at the back of the board, uh, we can see that MSI is doing a really good job uh, in you know lining up their the mounting screws spots. So look at all these holes in here. It's all covered with a um, avoid collision symbol here. So that except for all these spots, don't put a mounting screw in there so that it won't damage the motherboard, which is uh, really nice for if you don't know the underlying structure of this motherboard. And also we can see that the uh, uh, there's partially armor on the back of the uh, the motherboard, uh, as, as the price suggests, this is like a very premium board. So having uh, part of the armor is definitely needed. Uh, there's the uh, the USB 3. Point, there's two USB ports in here. There's like uh, six SATA ports. And this is the uh, 24 pin. And this is for the USB-C port on your case. And there's some um, fan connectors and some RGB connectors in here. And for this one, this is designed exactly for um, the Corsair. So if you're using a Corsair ecosystem with MSI, uh, it can connect to this so that the, uh, the MSI center is able to control uh, the Corsair lightings and everything uh, with this Corsair port. And uh, you have see some fan connectors here, and uh, there's two power connectors for your uh, for your CPU. So uh, overall, it's uh, uh, it's not that heavy, but definitely the build quality in the in, in there, and uh, it looks really cool. All right, guys, here's the uh, the unboxing uh, and first look at the um, MSI Unify X motherboard. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below on my comment section. And uh, if you like this video, click on the like button. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.